Okay, I was just checking some things out. Usually you don't see too many SAIs in this part of the world, except for down here in Italy. But over here, where all the problems are going on, you don't see a whole lot. Usually it's just overcast and cloudy. But here's a giant one, and I was looking at this really close. And, you know, it just looks so odd. All right, so I just started pulling in. I mean... I just didn't, and then look at this. That is weird. You, that just don't happen. You'd never notice it. You'd never notice it, see? Unless you uh, <clears throat> started looking around a little bit. So it's definitely an artifact. It's, it's a piece of machinery in the sky, and that's the signature of it. There is so much spacecraft up there. It is unbelievable. Tonight, one flew over. I put my high-powered electric light on it, and I made it turn off its light. It was flying out of the northwest, heading out like over the ocean, over the Atlantic, and it actually powered down after 10 seconds with my light on it, and it was supersonic, super high, probably, I don't know, 10 miles high maybe. So I'm looking at 60,000 feet, maybe more than that, maybe 80,000. But my light was hitting it. So they powered that little ship down. It, you know, it's probably the size of a Greyhound bus but because it, it was so high. But this was, uh, this was on the 28th. So, and this is... We're backing up on the 26th right there. Let's go back to the 27th. When I say cloudy, that's what I mean in that area. And then so, the next day, we had this. And then, well, I'm backing on up, sorry. The next day, we had this. And then you see the frequencies being thrown here. And then this is showing up. And you can see I'm bouncing off right here. Ion um, plasma generated type frequencies, electrical. And underneath that, there's some of that. As far as the rest of the world, we look around the United States. They came here and did a little SAI this evening. Don't know why it didn't show up. What happened out in California today, out west? They've been beating them pretty hard out there. Yeah. Wow. Talk about dirty air. <clears throat> Hammer time. Look at that. That looks, that looks really cold. It looks cold out there. Those are some cold looking clouds. If you want to see cold clouds, let's go down in here. Not vortex. Um, oh, that looks freezing cold right there. Whew. Why'd I do that? That is some super cold air. Yeah, it's cold down there. Look at that. Gee whiz, that's not thick. I'm trying to say, <clears throat> somebody's trying to say the Antarctic's 80 degrees, but on my radar, I'm not finding that. I'm finding 60 below, 50 below. I mean, it, down underneath there, on the volcano vents, it could be, but down in there, I'm not finding nothing like that. I can't, I'm not, I can't show it here. I can show it on a different map. So, I'm just scanning. I'm just quickly running through this here. Okay. No, I just it was like, I always got some storms.
29th thing happened, but yet in this part of the world. Let's see what they did over there today. Just got it saturated. For some reason they're keeping it. I don't know if they're hiding something, but they're keeping it messed up down here. This. I don't know what they're doing. Bringing in, unloading stuff into Mexico. The work up into here. Eventually. I don't know. Nothing we can do about it. Anyway, your planet. Yeah. Africa. They never, they never put it down there. I guess it's messed up enough as it is. Shear, wind shear right there. All right, stop it.